welcome back to my channel and today today yay we are doing a review on the oh hoo hoo poly gel this is a unboxing video so i bought this on amazon approximately about two weeks ago i had it sitting there and i said you know what it's time to open up this box so here it is i am going in using my scissors and the reason why I purchased this because I wanted to start poly gel. This is something I wanted to introduce to my customers. And I have watched so many tutorials and I was so anxious and I wanted to start. But at the same time, I was a little bit afraid. But I just went out and bought the biggest um, box I could possibly buy that had almost everything in it. And I mean, this box, this Ohuhu has everything in it. Everything. So we're going to open up and I'm going to show you individually each item that came inside this box. So keep watching. In this box, it has 12 normal colors. So I'm going and I'm looking through the booklet and as you can see, this is an awesome booklet because it shows you everything you need to do. If you've never done poly gel, it's very, very detailed. So now it comes with a nail clipper and this is the good one. This is actually the square one, so it's not going to make your nails round. So if you want to do other styles like coffin and so forth, then this is a good nail clipper. Uh, that's a cuticle pusher. Also another nipper now i had purchased a nipper the other day and i spent eight dollars but in this box it just came as a package so now i have like two or three nippers it also comes with base coat um some kind of top coat i'm not sure is this gel top coat uh now that nail file i'm not sure if it's an 80 80 grid or 180 um so we'll see when i test it out now i'm actually looking at the poly gels this one has two kind of greens one kind of like a minty cream green and the other one's just like a regular green and this has actually 12 colors and the colors are really really beautiful and that's one of the reasons why i purchased this because i feel like this kit you could get so many options. The other kits I looked at, they had limited um, colors, but this one had 12 colors. And I just figured, hey, if there's something I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna definitely be needing some pink, oranges, green. So in this kit is no nude, and I did not see a white in this kit. So definitely those are more poly gels I would have to pick up. But for the most part, if I'm gonna do something blendable or a freestyle, I would definitely need more colors, like multicolors. And that's another reason why I chose this kit. Now, this kit is actually a very large kit. I mean, as you can see, I'm actually just taking out every single poly gel so I could actually show you the colors. And this one is the clear. I mean, this is awesome. I mean, after I took out all the poly gels, I was actually just tired. Like, see, this is a red one, definitely. Um, so now I'm moving on to the brush. And I needed one of these gel brushes because I do a lot of colored acrylic and I don't do so many gels. So I definitely was needing a gel brush. And this gel brush is really, really nice. It feels a nice brush overall, right? And I can use it for other things like clean up, um, since I'm in the stages now of practicing my Frenchies and also it comes with forms and these glitters. Now, let me tell you about these glitters here. At first, when I looked at it, I was like, oh, these are just some boring old glitters. But then once I opened it, man, these glitters are beautiful. Now this glitter here, this is kind of like a basic, um, type of glitter, you know, not too much, but these glitters actually surprised me. Like seriously, this glitter that I'm opening right now, this video is not doing this glitter any justice, but this glitter here, this glitter here, yeah, you're gonna make some money on this glitter. This, this kit here is awesome. Like I love this kit. Yeah, so keep watching the video because you know, 
after I do the unboxing, then I go ahead and I started to do like a little sample because, you know, I definitely want to test the product out before I start giving it to customers. That's the first thing you always have to do. So I did test the product out. So just keep watching. Now, my daughter was in the room with me and she was so excited, like she was so in love. So I just had to put some of the glitter on her so she could feel special. You know, she's a part of me. We're a team. We do this together. All right. So she's looking at the glitter as you can see her little hand. And I'm just, she's just participating. So after I tested all the glitters, you can see it has some nail forms. I mean, these nail forms are really, really nice. They're durable and they are very, very sturdy. So if you're into doing forms, then definitely forms are in this package right here. This package has a lot of stuff. Like if you've never done poly gels before, then this is definitely a kit that you would buy because this have a lot of goodies. Like I'm really, really happy that I purchased this kit. All right, so let's get into it. This is the fun part, Jolly. Yes, yeah, so this is actually my first time. But, you know, I am a nail tech, so everything is pretty much um, standard for me. I have the idea and the concept. And we know when you're a nail tech, that's pretty much all you need, idea, concept, and then you'll get it. So right here, I did not use the glitters from the kit. I had my own glitters because I had something in mind. And I was actually going to put these on myself to test the product to see the longevity of the gel because you could watch anything on YouTube. But then, you know, once a client starts paying for this, um, I don't need nails popping off. So I need to see how long this product is actually going to last. Right. So right here, I'm just going ahead, putting some base gel and trying to put some glitter in here. Uh, it was actually giving me a hard time. So I had to go slower and then use the back of um, the base gel brush to make sure everything was like inside the nail. Uh, it was very tedious, very, very tedious, not something I'm used to. And I was getting a little agitated halfway, but I hung in there because I bought this big old poly gel kit and I have to let it work for me. Okay, so by this time I actually got the hang of what I was doing and you know, it just became easier. So now I'm trying to put this on just individual fingers. At this point, I have no idea the type of design I wanna do. I was just trying to do some kind of a freestyle, just something cute, just really, really just to test the product. So, this is what it looks like. I was actually struggling. Like there you can see the pieces of um, the pieces of glitter is like on my brush. It just kept coming off. Like I was really, really agitated. I was about to toss these, but I was like, you know what, Jules, hang in there. You got this girl. So, all right, I was working on it. And I pretty much, I was excited because I've been wanting to introduce this to my customers. And this is the opportunity. And at this point, I just can't afford to fail. So we're in it for the win. All right, so this is the color I decided to use. It is some kind of an orange. And what I basically did, I just kind of just put it in the nails. And I um, used my gel brush and my um, slip solution. Yeah, and I just pretty much played with it until I got it all in there smooth it out, make sure it wasn't too thick. And I mean, I was having issues because some of the gel, it was actually, you know, coming and running on the sides. I mean, it was just a mess for me, but I mean, it looks pretty easy, <laughs> you know, but it, it was very difficult. Um, but once the, once I got the hang of it, you know, I just kind of hang in there and, and hopefully, you know, things, things turn out how they're supposed to. Um, I watched a lot of video tutorials on this before I actually went in and made the purchase. And it looks pretty easy, but everything always looks easy. And then when you're doing it, it's, you know, it's more difficult, right? So at this point, I wasn't sure like how much product I was really supposed to put in this one because I was having a hard time with my brush. Maybe I needed to add more slip solution. 
I'm not sure how much slip solution because this is actually my first time attempting to do this. Like I said, I have the concept and the idea, but the actual practical is what you're seeing now. I did not do this off camera. I just decided to just do the whole thing on camera. And so this is actually my first time. So bear with me. <laughs> So I decided to put some pink in the thumb because I don't know what's going on with my brains these days. I just can't have anything uniforms. I just wanted to be different and just freestyle it because I figured, okay, we're using orange and pink. So I didn't want to go all orange. So I decided to just put some pink. That's just how a nail tech brain operates. We just, our brain is just very universal and we have a free, free uh, creative mind mindset of thinking how to do nails i mean we might use different colors but in the end everything always works out and it just becomes cohesive right so at this point i felt like okay i had enough poly gels in the nails and now i'm just going to put it on my own hand so i'm actually roughing up my nail bed make sure i take out all that protein off the nail bed make sure it's dry and of course my dehydrated a1 gelish you cannot be a nail tech and don't use this product. Like this product here, this product is a very, very good product. So I did prime my nails, but I did that off camera. And now I'm just putting this on here just so I can make the gel stick to the nail. Now, once I do this, I am gonna put this in my UV lamp. But this is just so it attaches because I find it difficult trying to put the nails on at the same time. It doesn't stick and then my how my uh, my gel dryer is, it's a little difficult to kind of hold the nail while you're putting it under the dryer. So this um, technique right here works a lot better for me to just have the overhead light and flash cure the nails. And then once I'm done with that, then I'll go ahead and uh, put it in my LED lamp. So this is how I do a flash cure first, just to get those nails on and then in the LED lamp to seal the deal. All right, I wouldn't just flash cure them and leave them like that because I doubt it will be on there as tight as it should. But actually at this point, my nails felt very, very tight. Like unbelievable tight. Like I was really, really surprised. Like these felt really good. Now, as I'm shaping these, I am just loving the look on these. Like, I was like, okay, wow, this is awesome. This looks like I'm ready to go. But I'm actually going in and just following the cuticles because I put too much product when I was putting on the nails and I actually have products like on my cuticles. So that's the reason why I'm going in right now. I'm actually cleaning up these cuticles. I'm gonna sweep these cuticles in a minute. Um, but I'm just showing you exactly what I did. So there we go. Time to sweep those cuticles. So now I'm sweeping the cuticles because I don't want any lifting. I don't want no problems with these nails. Like I said, because this is something I'm going to provide as a service for my clients. And I got to make sure I do this good. So I'm making sure there's no room for error. Even though this is my first time doing it. Like I said, I've seen it so much in concept. But you know, doing the real thing is a lot harder than watching somebody else do it. So at this point, I realized that um, the nails were on there. It was real tight. It felt good and I was happy. I was happy at this point, but behind the nails felt a little sticky. So I'm not sure at this point if I needed to put some kind of top gel or something beneath the nails because it just kind of felt weird just having like, um, you know, like gel behind the nail. I'm used to gels being on top of the nail. So it did feel kind of weird and sticky. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, I need to put something behind here. And some of the nails actually felt like more gel was behind some than the other. So I actually had to go back there and just kind of drill it down. So it just kind of feels smooth and and not so uneven behind, but on top, it was beautiful. Now, I did get kind of lazy and I did use the poly gel to put the stones on. I had to like actually just 
take that whole um, nail that I'm doing now. I had to take it off. I did it before. I had to do it again because I had used a poly gel previously because I figured, okay, the poly gel would hold the stones. But to my surprise, they did not hold the stones. The poly gel got dry, but where the stone were placed, it was still sticky. And if I had done that on a customer, it would have been a problem. So moving forward in the future, I will not be using poly gels to put on no rhinestones, no gels, no 3Ds. I will do it the old fashioned way like I'm used to. I'm using my gel glue and my acrylic to seal this because clients pay a lot of money for their nails and small things like stones, rhinestones falling off is a big deal for some people. So you wanna make sure you secure those stones. So I don't think poly gel is a good gel to put stones and um, rhinestones on. But besides that, it do feel good on my hands and I like it. And I'm actually happy because I can see myself doing multiple sets like this. It didn't take me a long time at all. And I'm actually happy I did this. All right. So as you can see, this is really, really pretty. And I am so happy. So thank you again for watching Jules Nails, the business of nails. Bad girl Jules Nails. Like and subscribe.